Hello everyone, my name is Madhukar. The article I'll be reviewing would be titled Multi-Criteria Land Suitability Analysis for Agriculture Using Analytical Hierarchy Process and Remote Sensing Data for Northern Region India. Coming to the background of the research, as we all know, the world's population is rapidly increasing these days. To meet the rising demand of food, the agricultural communities must produce more and more. Because it is difficult to bring additional land under cultivation in the current scenario when the land is a limited issue, the agricultural communities should take on the task of producing more and, food, more, and more food with the land that is available. It, it depends upon the needs of the crop, soil and the land use. By comparing all these land characteristics to the crop requirements, the suitability can be determined. The issues and problems about the method was discussed in the article is that assuming the spatial homogeneity throughout the region, the multi-criteria land suitability was assessed in a non-spatial manner. In order to address the spatial decision, the non-spatial prediction techniques which, which will average or total the impact that are considered fits for the entire region are considered. This is one of the major drawbacks for this uh, method which, which uses a non-traditional method and averages the total effect uh, of the entire region considering, uh, considering the address, ad addressing the spatial decisions. Study area is located in the northern part of India and uh, it is where the three states of Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir come together. The northern region India serves as a transportation hub for the three northern states due to its strategic location. The research methodology, the first step is to standardize or reclassify all, all, all the criteria which are considered because uh, all the selected criteria are in a different units. They must be converted to the same unit in order to use the weighted overlay method. For example, the soil, soil has the soil types and when, when it comes to the slope, it has degrees. So all, all these have a different uh, unit. So all these need to be converted into the same unit to calculate the weighted overlay method. And then the weights are determined using analytical hierarchy process, which is a non-spatial technique. Uh, using the influence factors, a matrix is constructed and the weights are, are calculated. Then these uh, weights are converted into the percentages and it is modeled using RGS to calculate the weighted overlay and then the suitability map is prepared. The raster data sources are from digital elevation model where slope, elevation and aspect ratio are created and Sentinel-2 data to produce soil moisture. Land use land cover, soil, geomorphology, geology are vector layers from multiple other data sources. And then the data sets are prepared and converted to raster, lay, raster to overlay. Uh, the data layers includes slope, elevation, aspect, drainage density, land use land cover, moisture index, soil type, geology, geomorphology. All these layers are prepared and converted to raster to overlay. As mentioned before, the pairwise comparison matrix was generated using analytical hierarchy process using a scale of 1 to 9, where 9 represents the important relevance and 1 indicates equal relevance of the criteria between them and then the matrix is constructed. Further, one of the major factors or the properties of the analytical hierarchy method is that it finds and calculates inconsistencies of decision makers. The consistency relationship is used to establish and effectively the criteria of the analytical hierarchy method. It is, it is calculated by the equation which is uh, the consistency index divided by the random index. And here the random index is the mean value of the consistency index based on the computer matrix order. The coming to the pairwise comparison matrix for multi-criteria decision problem. Here 
reciprocity criteria are mostly used in the comparison matrix which is mathematically stated to calculate by n into n minus 1 divided by 2 for the number of components in the pairwise comparison matrix these values in the comparison matrix for multi criteria are normalized and weights are calculated for each of the influencing factor here we can see the weighted overlay analysis was carried out to generate the land suitability for agriculture in the northern region in india uh, the values of selected factors derived from the analytical hierarchy process and uh, specified scores of uh, sub criteria here we can see the slope uh, the weights are calculated for the slope and uh, there is a sub categories each of them has a score and uh, in this land use land cover the water bodies are restricted for the agriculture and uh, the built up areas can also be restricted and uh, the forest which are reserved can also be restricted so these are these are restricted from the sub categories and the scores have been assigned and the overall weightage has been calculated from the non spatial technique of analytical hierarchy process and then finally the land suitability for agriculture is classified into five levels according to the food and agriculture organization fao highly suitable agriculture land moderately suitable agriculture land marginally suitable agriculture land and lands uh, currently not suitable for agriculture and permanently not suitable for agriculture production so the way the the areas have been calculated based upon the analytical hierarchy process and uh, spatially uh, the the locations have been uh, determined which is highly suitable and not not at all suitable in the overall region here are the references for the article and here is the citation for the article